Hi, this is Laura Clark with LA Story and I'm here with David Fine, director of Salam Dunk here at the LA Film Festival. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> um, Peekaboo! There'll be some editing. <laughs> Well, um, I wanted to ask you first, how did you come to the story about um, female basketball players in Iraq and this really great group of young women? Yeah. Um, Play. Uh, the coach of the team, Ryan, uh, became a really good friend of mine. And uh, he and I kept in touch after we first moved to Iraq and um, was asked to, to start a team there. And Hello. When the girls asked him to start a team, he he and I were in touch, and we were writing each other emails. And he kind of said he was writing me these amazing stories about the girls on the team and some of the things they'd been through, but also um, how much they loved to play basketball. And sort of that juxtaposition, I knew was like a great foundation you know, for the film. Um, you know, hearing some of these stories about what they had been through and where they had been, but also seeing them kind of becoming athletes. So. Great. So focusing so much on young women and girls, did you ever feel outnumbered um, <laughs> during the shoot? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I guess throughout, as I was kind of becoming their their friends and you know doing my best to have as many experiences with the camera off as with the camera on. I wanted to make sure that I was learning as much as I could from them about who, not only who they were as people, but you know about Iraqi traditions and culture. Um, and so while there were a number of things kind of standing between them and I, that I'm not Iraqi, that I'm a male, um, you know, hugely, vastly different life experiences because of where, where we're both coming from and gender. Um, I really did everything I could to, to listen and, and ask as much as possible about their experiences. Um, you know, and, and during production, trying to consult with other women who were there, um, with other Iraqi people who were there, in the editing process, doing my very best to get the female perspective to show pieces of, of the film to Iraqi people. Um, some of our translators who, you know, who translated our Kurdish and Arabic became hugely valuable resources in watching cuts for us. Um, so yeah, you know, it was, it was definitely a struggle, but the other, I, I think probably the most important thing on this that I can say is that as a Westerner coming to Iraq, I didn't want to hide the fact that I know very little about that place. Um, I wanted to approach it with just a huge amount of curiosity and kind of a fresh perspective and a beginner's mind because I thought that, that asking those questions that might seem simple to an expert or academic would ultimately allow for the film to be um, more accessible to, to a wider audience. And so I think that that worked both on the level of, hey, I'm not an Iraqi person, but also I'm not a woman and I'm not an Iraqi woman. So doing my best to understand their perspective and what they've been through and what basketball means to them and, and asking those questions, I think uh, just in some ways helps the film to explain some of that more clearly. Right, and what's amazing about the film too is this, um, like you mentioned, accessibility. And you know, I know very little about Iraq, and I'm sure most of your audiences will as well. And um, just the universality of um, their experiences, you know, and just the the female bonding, the friendships, the teamwork, all of those really came through. Um, was that something special for you? Was that something that you were surprised by, even or no? <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, every time, every time I watch the film, uh, there are certain parts of it that still choke me up a little bit, uh, and I've seen them more times than I'd like to admit. Um, the film took 11 months to edit, and, and at points it was like, I, you know, I can't believe this is still getting to me. Um, 
and a lot of it, it it's not the sad stories about you know the, some of the players past in Baghdad and some of the things they've been through it's hearing them talk with such sincerity about the experience of playing on a team and becoming an athlete and watching them have those experiences as an 18, 19, and 20 year old more fully formed person that I had when I was six. Right. You know, that I take for granted to some extent um, because I, I guess I wasn't as sort of aware of myself and cognizant when I, when I started, when I started as an athlete, you know. So watching them go through that, that sort of transformation was awesome. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations on your film. <laughs> Good luck with it. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>